schools so I'm preparing to do that now and it's a headache because I need to scan oh, every report card just everything that's in their folder and I have to do it for let me see 68 kids okay remind you I enrolled 195 but now I need to send out records for 68 kids who left and went to different schools all over Texas. Hmm. And my ex-husband texts me about how I'm doing. I'm fine. Anyways, that, that kind of threw me all off. I think I'm gonna wait a little while before I respond because when exes start asking you how you doing, it's like, what does it matter? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sending these records. I wish I had coffee. I need to pick me up. My back hurts. I'm tired. I actually think I'm starting to get too old for this job. So, but yeah, I'll let y'all know. Let me get to work. I like this song. If you want it. I just woke up and I have a grocery order that I need to pick up so I am headed to do that now. This will probably be the last time y'all see me because I have been looking forward to this three day weekend you hear me i am about to just chill like for real for real i got bags under my eyes i'm tired well actually i was able to sleep in today so I'm feeling a lot better I'm not as tired as i was but I think for the most part my face still look a little tired okay that's better I, don't, I ain't really want my hair to flip to that side I wanted it on this side but anywho what's up everybody so I recently put a vlog out to try to catch y'all up because I haven't been able to vlog consistently like I would like to but it's not even like I had a consistent schedule to begin with. But at least, y'all, hold on, it's my song, hold on. We got a three day weekend. I wanna be home, but at the same time. Okay, so anyways, let me get to the point. So I haven't been able to tip to just vlog the way that I would like to, but at least y'all was seeing me. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't have a consistent day, but at least weekly, you were seeing a little bit of some. You you at least came to mingle with me a little bit. So right now I'm headed to go pick up some groceries, and honestly, I really don't plan on coming back out. But at the same time, I have a three day weekend, and I would want to barbecue like. I want some grilled meat, you know, and sometimes you got to do what you got to do, you know. I don't want to go spend a whole lot of money on no barbecue, so I can do some sides and barbecue myself, so I may plan on doing that. Just depends on when my daughter is coming back because her grandpa actually picked her up this morning. They were going to go to breakfast and spend a day together. And I think he was gonna go pick up some of his other grandkids as well. So they just were all gonna have a grandpa cousin day. 
which is really good for the kids as well as for him but I am actually headed to H-E-B right now to pick up a grocery order I should have got more snacks like I think I'm very disciplined when it comes to <laughs> not buying snacks because I feel like if you always buying snacks that's not gonna help with what you trying to you know what I'm saying what you trying to finesse you know what I'm getting you, you get me but with the way I'm feeling and how my daughter's gone I think I might just stay in and just enjoy my time but I ain't got no snacks I don't know, it's a lot of traffic out here and I wanna listen to the radio, so I'll pick y'all up once I get to AG. Hey, yeah, now why that girl got on them short shorts and that little bitty crop, you know what? I mean, I need to be quiet. Cause you know, everybody, people don't like when you speak your mind. I have a daughter, so I can, I can speak my mind. <laughs> but I'm not gonna go there. Anyways, it's the weekend. Everybody getting their groceries. I'm about to be chilling. I need to give me some wine. Hmm. I don't really want to drink. I want to eat. Now if somebody else want to drink, that's different. I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> uh, I thought I had more to say to y'all, but I don't. So how was your trip? Nice. <laughs> that's good. Then we got lost in the parking lot. Yeah. We picked y'all up to get to the mall. And y'all went to the outlet too? Yeah. Oh, that's y'all went to this one out here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because Jeremiah wanted some specific Nike pants, but at all stores, they were the same price. Until we got to the outlet mall, it was like $45. They had a sale. They have a 30% sale. You got the Nike outlet? Yeah. Um, I got me some Crocs. Mm, 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 mm. Crocs. Are they? Mm -hmm. Anyway, what you got? Some Crocs. Yeah. You ain't got no jigits? No gibbets? No. You too old for that? In my but as a senior, y'all still put gibbets on them? Yeah. Mm. Um, what else? We we got what's that called? Auntie Annie's. Well that's good, you got to see your papa. My throat hurts. Well, you sick. You need to go in your room before I get sick. I can't afford to be sick on my three-day weekend. My three-day weekend. Okay, girl. Okay. You done for your review of your morning? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.
So I just seasoned some meat that I do want to barbecue for tomorrow. I have some pork steaks. I actually have some chicken thighs, but I don't think I want to do the chicken thighs. I'm going to just do some pork steaks, some potato salad, some green beans, and some baked beans. So I seasoned it, and I'm about to put it in the refrigerator for it to marinate. And that's about it. Lexi actually um, loves you on my sister. I believe they went to go have pho or pho, however you say it. She'll probably be back in a little bit. They probably went somewhere down the street. I have just been in the bed. You know, I told y'all I was going to be intentional about staying in. And that's just what I've been doing. But I'll check in with y'all if something worth recording happens. I'm just over here with my bonnet on, looking like a bag lady. But it is what it is. But I'm enjoying my time catching up on my wrist. I'm washing my <clears throat> sheets and pillowcases right now, so don't mind that. Any of y'all listen to Afrobeats? Like, I love to catch a good Afrobeats mix and just vibe out. I love my R&B and my hip hop as well, but sometimes I think it's like the wave frequencies and the music be a little too hype for me. And sometimes I just want a little, mellow type vibe and that's what afro beat the oh my god i got something in my eye but i just used cayenne pepper i did wash my hands but i don't want to chance it but i love me some afro beats um even before i started dating african men i was always listening to like reggae afro beats reggaeton stuff like that like amongst myself like when i'm at the gym that's normally what i'm listening to in my earphones or i might listen to some little ratchet music something that'll get me in the mood but if i'm actually on a machine it's probably going to be afro beats keeps me a little calm and you know good little pace or whatever i also date african men as well um but I typically do date foreign men. I date American men as well, but um, yeah, in case anybody was wondering what's my dating preference, uh, I pretty much date what treats me well, and that could be any race, any nationality. I don't discriminate over here. I'll try a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but for the most part, it's been these, it's been these, um, Lovely brown skinned men of African descent and of Caribbean descent. And uh, you know, it's been lovely, it's been great. But um, some of y'all starting to piss me off. Like, I'm now running into the cultural issues of dating someone you know, outside your race, outside your culture and all of that. So, yeah. I have just been chilling. I'm sorry, this is this is what y'all gonna get for this three day weekend. Remember I kept telling y'all I got a three day. And if y'all wanted to mingle with me a little bit, this is, this is your only option. I'm not getting dressed, I'm not going nowhere. I didn't put everybody on a block list for the weekend. I am unreachable. You can't reach me. I'm unavailable. Okay? Unavailable. You know, see me. Can't find me nowhere. But I'm about to watch some vlogs. I actually was just watching Just Being Sierra. She is a teacher as well. So shout out to all the teachers. I also watched It's Beyond G today. Today is my watch my teacher content, ladies. You know, I gotta catch up with y'all, see what's going on in y'all's world. So that's pretty much what I did today. Beyond G was this morning. I'm about to watch just being Sierra right now. And then whoever else comes up on my list, whoever else posts on a Sunday. Today is Sunday, right? Yeah, I'ma tune into y'all. But Tim's is so pretty. Like I'm six feet tall. If I could choose my friends, it would be someone like Tim's because when you're tall, you, you want people that match your energy, match your height. And when I put on heels, baby, I'm about 6'3". So, 
but someone like Tim's next to me and let's see maybe I don't know who else tall but she's beautiful anyways let me watch these vlogs and I will catch up with y'all later Sriracha. Sriracha. I just put a lot of spicy stuff in it. Like meatball. It's like a meat meatball. Put stuff in there. Well, I don't want you to have all my juice. Spicy? It's, it's not that spicy. I don't know what she got. And then I put sriracha, chili sauce. Uh, it came with onions. What's, what's the thing? I don't know. Scallions. I don't know, man. Try that meatball thing. Tastes like an Italian sausage meatball. Yeah, we're finna do her lashes. It's a new week, so a new set. Good morning. I kind of woke up with my voice a little hoarse. I'm thinking maybe my daughter has gotten me sick. Um, but it's Tuesday morning. Hey y'all, so my intentions were to talk to y'all while I was on my break, but I have ran out of time. I went on my lunch break. My time is already up. I just went and got some Taco Bell. Hopefully it don't give me the bubble guts while I'm at work because that would not be, that wouldn't be cool. And I have a Baja Blast. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this in my office and then I will probably check in with you guys later. I hope that y'all are having a great day and I hope that y'all had a great lunch as well. Talk to y'all soon.
All right, so I wasn't able to get back on, but it's 3.39, school lets out at 4.10. So I'm just about to run one more report to make sure all the teachers have submitted their attendance. And then I'm about to clean up a little. Then it's gonna be time to go. Today has been a um, a very chill day, which I like, so I'm not even going to complain. So let's see what this report says. Just one, Miss Anderson. Mm. Let me call her. Miss Anderson, you did your attendance? Yeah. Oh, it's because it switched. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Because your name's still showing up, but I think it's because of the switch classes or whatever. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I said, I'm not starting off with you getting in trouble. <laughs> no, no, no. You're good. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Anderson. All right. I have a bunch of laptops that I need to return to the library for kids who left. All of those right there. I need to see if I have a cart so I could take them. Let me go take this stuff and then I will talk to y'all on my way home. tell you some ladies just because you're independent does not mean that that is a good thing look up the definition you do not really want to be out here doing everything on your own if you can afford to have a partner if you're willing to you know have partnership and marriage <laughs> you might want to be dubbed in it and not just so much independent okay so many things we could have